everyone, welcome back. That's disgusting, okay. Hello everyone, welcome back. It is I, Andini, and today I have for you a mediocre advice from someone who's not an expert. But I have lived over a month now in quarantine, so I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm a little... I have some experience, you know, I have some uh, experience in quarantine, uh, both voluntarily in my past few years uh, living alone and involuntarily, but also voluntarily right now as we are on quarantine. And the other day I was trying to think, I, I, I bleh, okay, so the other day I was going through a list that you guys had sent me requests on my Instagram for what kind of videos to do. My Instagram is at Anne Makasinski if you'd like to follow. Anyways, I was going through a list and I just didn't feel like doing any of them and I was just kind of feeling bleh for like the whole day. I don't know, once every few days I found, especially in quarantine, I guess I'm just more conscious of it. I have this day where I'm just like, this day sucks. Like I woke up and I already know it sucks and I just feel super sucky and it sucks. Um, even though obviously I should be very thankful that I'm healthy and safe and like <laughs> stable right now. Like that's more than enough to be thankful for right now. But some days I wake up and I just feel blech. And I'm sure a lot of you guys also are feeling similar things, whether it's constantly, once in a while, whenever it is. But especially in quarantine with not being able to go outside that much and this fear of this unknown and unseen virus everywhere, it's, it's, it's terrifying. We are trained or just brought up to be afraid of the unknown. Yet Keats says it is the un it is the, what does Keats say? Ah, bright star, would I? We're steadfast as thou art. I miss the English class. Darn it, I can't find the thing. <sighs> okay, I was gonna find this Keats, John Keats. I was gonna find this John Keats. I was going. Anyways, a lot of us are scared of the unknown, what we can't see and what we don't know, and especially the future. We just don't know what's gonna happen, especially at this time. Um, and I just wanted to state that fact so you would know it and then therefore be more terrified. I thought today I would talk about some tips that I personally have been using to just try and stay a little bit more motivated and positive at this time, or maybe like in life in general. The first tip I have is when you get up, change out of your pajamas. This is so difficult for me. I'm literally, okay, it's nighttime now. It's like 11, so I'm wearing my Elvis t-shirt pajama, but before this, I was changed in my pants or whatever I'm wearing the day. Jeans really just like, suck me in and then I help, it helps me feel more put together. But every day try and change out of your pajamas, like at least from pajamas to sweatpants. I even think that's a good change because it'll make you be more conscious and your body feel like more conscious that, oh, today's a new day, I'm up now, it's a daytime, let me try and do things a little bit like it was normal. Whenever I start to get a little bit antsy, I try and do some form of exercise. Yoga has been really helpful. Yoga is like the slow exercise for the body. It's the slowest exercise for the body most of the time, which I love, anything slow. Obviously, if I wasn't in New York, if I was in like Victoria, where there's way more space between people and like nature, I would be out there enjoying green things and getting allergies. But because I'm in New York, we're in a tiny apartment, I'm just gonna do my yoga on my mat and then try and feel fulfilled. My sleeping schedule is absolutely horrible right now, but um, because of that, I've actually cut down from three meals a day to two meals, just two large meals. So you have like a breakfast, lunch, and then we have like a late dinner. And it works really well because if you think of it, most of the time we're not moving around as much as normal at all because we're just all inside. So we're burning a lot less calories through movement. I think we burn around 800 calories just like being alive, but the rest of the calories that we, okay, I'm not a health person. It just makes me feel better because sometimes if I eat too much food and I'm literally not moving at all, I'm just staying in the same room all day, I feel kind of gross, so cutting down on food has been really helpful. I try on days where it's like really urgent for me to do things to make a list and cross things off. I sometimes do this normally, but it doesn't always work out. And honestly, I've been finding it really, really hard to reply to emails and just do simple things. I don't know, there seems to be like a huge lack of motivation on my end right now. Obviously a big portion of the day, I think especially during this like very traumatic time should be somewhat dedicated to escapism. Escapism for everyone can happen in different forms. It could be through reading books, it could be through 
coming up with new ideas, whether you're a designer or an inventor or a writer. It could be through cleaning. I do a lot of stress anxiety cleaning, but it makes me feel so good when I do it. So you could also do that. Because if you just sit around doing nothing, you're just gonna overthink everything and just feel even more horrible. So when I start doing that, I try and get myself up of whatever I am. I'm usually on the bed lying down because like, what else would I do? My top escape that I didn't mention was watching movies and TV, obviously. Um, but I'm learning so much. It's been honestly really great. Um, I just burped. Sorry, that wasn't like a long dramatic pause. I was just burping silently. Those are the main things that I do to try and keep myself semi-motivated during this time. Don't feel a lot of pressure to be constructive, but at the same time, if you can be semi-constructive, why not? It's all this free time we suddenly have. I'm sorry if that was a little scatterbrained, but I just got really, I don't know. I'm really happy I filmed. Filming just makes me feel better. It's probably because it reminds me of public speaking, which I also love to do, that's like my job, which I'm obviously not gonna be able to do for the next little while. And speaking to the camera allows me, a single child, to speak as much as I want and not be talked back at and not be interrupted at all. Thank you so much for watching. My Twitter and Instagram are, Instagram are at Ann Makasinski. Please give them a follow, hit subscribe, Comment down below what you're doing to stay motivated and positive at this time. I'm really sorry if I talk too fast. I just got really excited. I just ate a hot dog. What can I say? Good night. Do you mind shutting the door? Mm -hmm. Give your phone. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you.